Hey guys, what's up? Blaine Cooper with Third Watch. Please like, share, and subscribe and join me on my weekly podcast here at Third Watch. This is Blaine Cooper with Third Watch. I'm out. Hey guys, what's up? Blaine Cooper with Third Watch. Did you see last night's debate? Horrific. I really don't got words for it. Um, it was bad. It was really bad. But in case you missed it, I uh, have a compilation of some interesting clips from it. So here you go. Enjoy. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with the COVID. Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare, we're trying to we're trying to provide housing for Black Americans. The impact of on the the choice the idea that they're gonna i'm not i've been proposing that everybody they pay the millionaires pay one percent one percent so no one after uh, i've not raised the cost of social security for anybody i got my handicap which when i was vice president down to a six and, and wants to get away with get rid of the ability of medicare to uh, for the ability to for the us to be able to negotiate drug prices with the big pharma companies. What I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. No one was hurt. No one Israeli was accidentally killed, and it stopped. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of this. I, was, I don't think he knows what he said either. Unbelievable. Utterly horrific. Um, we are the biggest laughing stocks in the world. I wonder what our enemies were thinking last night when they were watching this. I mean, if I was Russia, I would move right into Europe. I mean, if I was China, I'd move right into Taiwan. This guy's just going to, what, eat a bowl of ice cream while the world's burning? This is bad. Um, somebody invoked the 25th Amendment before we all get killed. Um, I'm sure Trump probably felt a little bad for the guy, to be honest with you. He was very restrained in this debate. And uh, to make matters worse, um, I don't know if you guys sat around and waited um but if you saw at the end there jill biden had to help him downstairs he's clearly not in good health um this is bad here's a clip look at this president making their way off the cnn debate stage looks like uh jill biden the first lady uh, has come out former president trump walking off the stage the first debate of the 2024 campaign and the earliest presidential debate ever now in the books and in front of the voters. Tonight, along with Aaron Burnett, the first word on what those voters might make of it from our political professionals, from our CNN flash poll and swing state focus group. We'll be talking to surrogates, including Vice President Harris, getting fact checks from our Daniel Dale and new reporting from inside both campaigns. With me here, CNN political commentator Scott Jennings. Unbelievable. This is what uh, the greatest nation on earth has been lowered to this is our standard this this is the best we could do to represent the greatest nation on earth the united states of america Whew, man uh this is uh this is one of the worst debates i think i've ever seen anyway moving on um as the world continues to go down in flames so the u.s or the united states decided to do a first strike Nuclear drill with some nuclear submarines against Russia. Apocalypse E-6B Mercury aircraft signaled for emergency action to Norway's Ohio-class SSBN NW nuclear-powered submarine. U.S. nuclear readiness. Um, it goes on to say how the U.S. strategic nuclear forces are on high alert. Nuclear alert. Uh, the U.S. Navy, with its Ohio-class nuclear submarines, and normally in Normandy, um, while the so-called EA six B Mercury Apocalypse plane flew in the air along with the maritime patrol aircraft P eight eight Poseidon, it says the Apocalypse plane broadcast an emergency action or EMA 
to the ballistic missile submarine. The EAM is coded message transmitted via uh, um, VFL antenna on a SSBN for a specific action. U.S. forces conducted a simulated nuclear first strike against Russia, a breath away from Russia's borders. The operation lasted five hours. I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to come and read these articles. Um, I got quite a bit for you. I mean, there's a lot going on in this, and it's not good. Now, I don't know if you guys have been following what's going along now, but do you really think they're going to allow another election to take place in the United States? Uh, do you think they're going to allow Trump to even have a chance of getting back in there? And the reason I say that, listen to this, because we all know it, right? We've all thought about this. We know the direction things are going. So this article was very interesting. This is NATO bypassed a possible election of Trump in the USA. In three months, the invasion of NATO forces in Ukraine begins plan of lightning advance. In about three months, around the end of September to the beginning of October, the deployment of NATO forces in Ukraine will begin. NATO has already taken measures against a possible Trump election in the U.S. so that the plan is not thwarted afterwards. This time was deemed necessary to complete the preparations in Poland, Romania, and Ukraine, as well as to finish Israel's operation in Lebanon. U.S. sources say the U.S. has convinced Netanyahu to fully support NATO operations in Ukraine after the end of the war in Lebanon. I'll put a link in the description in there. But we've all thought about this, that the left is so out of their mind that they will push this war until World War III does happen. And then, oh, well, we got to declare emergency, right? Never let a good crisis go to waste. And so simply they'll cancel the elections and they'll just blow the world up, as it were, out of the ashes. They'll have a great reset and start over. Um, the unlucky people like us who are going to get incinerated while they're sitting in their cute little nuclear bunkers, right? Anyway, moving on. Anyway, that's just some of the articles that... Um, are out there floating around and some of the news that you might have missed. Now, we're just doing a short show today. Now, make sure you like and subscribe and follow for more content. I'm going to try to get as much out as I can. Um, I got to work uh, and take trees down all week. So I try to make time for this. So I'll try to get out the information as I can. Um, so we need to do some serious praying in this country. Uh, we got a real hurdle to jump over. I pray that we can bring sanity back to this country. Um, unbelievable. We are living in interesting times. Jesus come quickly, right? Anyway, you guys, um, thank you for joining me here on Third Watch. This is Blaine Cooper. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're in the Illinois area, uh, the Peoria, Illinois area, and surrounding areas, and need tree removal, contact me. And uh, we'll get that tree out of there for you. This is Blaine Cooper with Third Watch. I'm out.